Hey everybody, this is Doa, and it is a gray, rainy day here in Korea. It's just the kind of day that's depressing to someone like me, so I thought, hey, why not cheer myself up before I go watch some awesome GSL up and down matches by casting a game of StarCraft 2. So here we go. As you can see, we've got Karn, our uh, great French player, spawning as a red Terran down in the, I guess, lower right position of Taldrim Altar, and his opponent is going to be kind of a special treat for you guys. It's going to be none other than TSL Fruit Dealer. That's right. This is Fruit Dealer. I can kind of read it a little bit. I mean, I can read Hangul. I just can't um, pronounce it very well. And if it's a Korean word, I can't really tell you what it is. But I can tell you this. It's T-S-U-L. So TSL, basically. And then this part says Fruit Dealer, only it's in Korean. So I can't. I don't know what the Korean word for Fruit Dealer is. But you get the idea. This was a ladder game from, of course, a Korean server. So we'll have to see who comes out on top, TSL Fruit Dealer versus Karn. As uh, some of you may know, Karn is of course living in the GOM house right now, trying to make it into GSL. He came so close last time, he was I believe like one best of three away from getting into Code A. So um, he's working hard, he practices a lot, and I'm sure we're going to see him in GSLs in the future of course as well. So uh, Karn starting his wall off here, bit of an interesting choice with the Supply Depot there. Now this is Taldrim Altar, so it's a pretty big map. Um, I guess that's kind of stating the obvious, as you can see from the mini-map. There are rocks blocking your third. Pretty big ramp leading into the natural base there, of course. A lot of people decide to fast expand on this map. As we can see, Fruit Dealer getting his hatchery first. Nothing at all wrong with that. Very, very low likelihood that there will be any sort of pressure from the Terran that early in the game. And Karn deciding to go command center first, which actually is a, an opening that we see not quite as often as the stereotypical one racks expand. So Karn being very, very bold with the uh, expanding. We'll have to see what he does after that, putting down his barracks to start a wall off, presumably right along this direction here. We do see Fruit Dealer sending out a scout, and if my computer hiccups at all, like if it kind of jerks around a little bit, that is just because it is on my laptop. Of course, I am in Korea, so I couldn't bring my whole nice desktop computer. So once in a while, oh, like right there, it does kind of jerk a little bit. So um, sorry about that. Not quite sure why that is. I think it's more Fraps just kind of not really agreeing with my processor than anything, um, I guess, video card related. But um, who knows? Hopefully it won't be too bad this game. We will find out. Fruit Dealer scouting cross positions first, not finding his opponent there, but he will run into the SCV. Oh, excuse me there. The drone says, of course, as he passes by because he studied English, so he can speak it now. This drone is fluent in uh, over 6 million forms of communication. Very, very fluent drone. We'll see how long he lives, though. That's always a trick. So Karn's command center finishing very quickly, of course, because he did get it first. This is going to give him a bit of an economic lead if he continues to produce SCVs, getting both command orbital commands at around the same time. So interesting choice there with that opening. Mortal Kombat, it is drone versus SCV. I didn't put as much enthusiasm into that as I usually do because I am in the GOM house. There are actually people still sleeping, so I can't quite yell as much as I would prefer to. But it's okay, you guys get the idea. Third barracks going down for Karn, so we're probably going to see a couple gas fairly soon. Let's take a look at the base of Fruit Dealer in the meantime. Things proceeding normally at the natural. Queen just popping there, of course. Two gas for Fruit Dealer, one already up. Not getting Zergling speed, though. Interesting. Although I believe he did just get this gas, so he's probably still building that up. Curious to see if he's going to go for a lair first, or if he's going to decide to get speed along the, with this. It kind of depends on what his late game strategy ends up being. And Karn with the bunker to complete the wall off, so Karn should be pretty safe. I don't believe... Oh, there it is, a supply depot. Yeah, so you do need that supply depot to complete a total wall off here. I suppose you could put the bunker right there, but Karn deciding to do things a little bit differently. And it will indeed be a lair first for Fruit Dealer, so doing a bit of aggressive teching. Now, a Fruit Dealer is one of those players that does tend to do kind of a little bit crazy things every once in a while. We'll have to see what he has planned for us here today. Let's see... And getting his third and fourth gas as well. So interestingly enough, Fruit Dealer deciding to go with a little bit heavier gas composition early in the game. Where's my music? Hold on. Hold on. If I have not have it repeating. Okay, it's repeating. All right. Interesting. Hmm. So uh, apparently the music just decided to stop. I guess that does happen sometimes. But we'll roll with it. It's okay. Might come back a little bit later. Oh, I think I hear music starting now. It is Zerg music, so it starts off kind of slow, I guess. 
Karn putting down another bunker, so definitely worried about some aggression from his Zerg opponent. But what has Karn really seen so far? That's what I'm kind of wondering. Let's click one of his units here so we can find out. He has seen the hatchery and the other hatchery and two gas. That is about it. So he has not seen a whole lot. Here comes a Zergling from Fruit Dealer. He's going to scout that wall off. And he will also see the two tech labs on the barracks as well. So it looks like Karn deciding to go for more of a, a bio push. We've seen more Terrans start to do this lately in the GSL as well, where a lot of Terrans, um, you know, traditionally go marine tank. But Karn instead going for the mass barracks play. Wow, very interesting choice by Karn. This is actually uh, pretty different than his usual play style as well. Oops, a little bit supply block there, whoopsie. But um, normally Karn is the type of player that likes to go mech against Zerg, in my experience. So, uh, so changing things up a little bit. Let's see, Baneling Nest, Evolution Chamber, Spire going up for Fruit Dealer as well. Looks like Fruit Dealer is slightly ahead on the supply, but at this point in the game it's not too important. The income tab does show Fruit Dealer ahead in drones, understandably. And Karn going with just two gas, although with that heavy bio, he may not need it quite as much. This Overlord is in a great position, I don't believe. Yeah, that's the nice thing about this map. You can even, as we saw in one game against MVP, I believe it was Violet versus MVP, he hit the Overlord right above this little kind of burst of land there, this little pillar of land. And so if the uh, Overlord is directly above this, it can't be seen by anything because it's technically on high ground, but the Overlord, of course, can check out the wall off here. You can see if... There's a natural expansion, so if you're a Zerg player, definitely consider parking your Overlord right here. It's kind of a neat little trick you can do. And if you notice, there's actually one of those on every base, so it is intentional. So, check it out. Pretty neat, huh? Third base going up for Fruit Dealer. So you will be getting a little bit more economy going, but here come the Mutalisks right now. Have to see if he can cause any damage at all. This is going to be really the first engagement between these players. No turrets yet for Karn. He does have a good amount of Marines, though. Oh, the mule getting taken out right away. Nice micro choice by Fruit Dealer to go after that mule first thing. But here come the Marines, and the Mutalists are going to need to pull back. There they go, stopping to pick off a Marine. So Fruit Dealer using whatever little advantage he can to get ahead in this game. He is a little bit behind in the supply right now. But that could change. It all depends. Pulling back in again, picking off a couple more SCVs. Gets one, it looks like. With that many Marines, it's going to be very, very difficult. And right now, Fruit Dealer needs to be so, so careful that he doesn't lose any Mutalisks to these Marines. Because right now, he is a little bit low on offensive units. Deciding to kind of swing around the outside, it looks like. Man, my observing skills have just gone downhill since I started casting GSL. I don't need to do my own observing anymore, so I'm a little bit out of practice. Sorry about that, guys. Mutalists again trying to pick off as much as they possibly can. And does he see this command center? Looks like he does. One SCV too lazy to walk. He is inside the command center. And so these Mutalists are actually going to get a good amount of kills on these SCVs. Getting three or four already. Wow. In the meantime, Karn moving out with a huge group of Marines. Stimming up the ramp. Are there any Bailings ready? There are. But Karn takes them out just in time. Only losing a couple of Marines from that. And Karn suddenly has been looking... Looking in very, very good position. It looks like Fruit Dealer might have produced too many drones. He only has a couple mutas. Not a lot otherwise. Pulling everything to the back here. But will it be enough? Karn with a huge amount of marines. He's going to be able to take this out quite easily. Here come the mutalists to clean up. But that is not going to do anything at all. Karn with a bit of a sneak attack right now. Catching Fruit Dealer when he didn't have enough offensive units. GG. And there it is. So wow, Fruit Dealer just really getting caught with his uh, fruit dealing pants down there not really having any offensive units at that critical time and that's a trap that a lot of zerg players fall into you really really need to keep some good scouting going make sure that you have enough units so when the attack comes you are ready for it of course but definitely a bit of an unorthodox playstyle from karn as well so that may have been a little bit of a surprise but that was it so karn taking down fruit dealer on the Korean ladder. Thanks for watching guys if you like my cast definitely subscribe and also follow me on twitter at doa sc Check it out. So cool. GSL's awesome. Can't wait to cast a little bit more of that for you guys in the future. So until next time, keep playing StarCraft 2, and we'll see you on the next cast.